Today's number one radio station, and uh, as we go from Thursday into Friday, Thursday or Thor's day, of course. Uh, Thor being the uh, the god of the god of thunder, was he? And Warden was the god of war. Is that right? Um, now uh, we're talking to Tom. Tom's in Blackpool. Dinky do Tom. 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 Hello. Tom, the piper's son. Hello. Hello. Thank you, thank you, dear to you too. Thank you, dear to you, Tom. How you doing? Very well. I have a, just a word about the armistice and that, no? The armistice? Yeah. Well, yes. Well, I don't know about you, Scott, but we were brought up. It's nice to be nice. Nice to be nice, Tom. I agree with that. And if you can't end a good turn, don't do them a bad turn. Absolutely. Now you're talking my language. So these boys that fought for us in the war... They're yeah. due the respect, you know, reckon? Oh, they're due the respect, but what I'm saying is, isn't it time to sort of say, right, that's that? No, no. Nothing to do with disrespect. No, because you've got, you've got to teach your, your kids... Why? ...to respect their, their grandparents and their great-grandparents and their great-great-grandparents. Yes, but eventually, their great-grandparents and all that will have been nothing to do with the war. Ah, but, Scotty, come on. Come on now. Fair's fair, fair. Me, eh? Fair is fair. I know what you're saying. Fair is fair, but you, you can't you can't forget your parents, Scotty. I didn't say you should forget your parents. Well, that's you nothing. That's parents. that's nothing to do with the the act of remembrance at the cenotaph. Yeah, well, because it's not to do with the act of remembrance at the cenotaph, but it's what you take down your generation to generation. Yes, but, but what I'm saying is, is it time now to not take this down anymore? No, I don't think so, Scotty. Why not? Because it's nice to be nice and it's nice to be remembered. There's nothing to do with not being nice, though. Why is it not? It's just to do with moving on. Moving with the times. Moving with the times? I mean, you look at you look at how things were during the war, right? Yeah. And you look at how things are now. Yeah, but did they no fight to give us that? To give them what? To give us what we've got now. Well, no. They didn't? No, because that wasn't here after the war. <laughs> Scotty, how do you mean you weren't here after the war? You're here now. I'm here now. Well, that's after the war, isn't it? Yes. But I would have been here anyway. I would have been here anyway. Wouldn't have made any difference. So, are you Jesus or something? Am I Jesus? Come on, Scotty, think about it. If I was Jesus, I would tell you. If, if we would have lost the war, where would we be now? Well, where's Germany now? Well, do you know... Everything they... everything running superbly. Everything dinky do. Well, but, apart from the French, yeah. Apart from the French? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so there you are. Germany lost the war, and where are they? They're, they're superb, aren't they? No, 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 no. Absolutely first class. Come on. First class. You're trying to bend my brain here, aren't you? Eh? Hey? You're trying to bend my brain. I'm trying to act right. I'm trying to get you into focus here. Well, go on. You you give me your reason then. Well, no, it's just that all these cliched phrases, like the one you've just used, and I know where you got it from, right? It's been handed down to you. Where would you be if Germany hadn't lost the war and all the rest of it? But I mean, who's to say Germany lost the war? But Germany did lose the war. Well, where's the evidence of that? It's in the history books, isn't it? In the history books, but you go to Germany, does it look as if they've lost the war? Oh, don't get me wrong. I mean, no, no, it doesn't. I mean, they've got Volkswagens and BMWs and all that. They're the greatest mechanics in the world. There you go. And so are we. Yeah. We're all we're all running about in German cars. Oh, but Scotty, Our time, car industry's not doing that well. At one time, the Triumph bike was the best in the world. Yeah, but it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. You know. So it's nice about time we'll just put in the gear and say, right. That's what we're going to do. That's called Europe. Oh, no, no, no. We're all going to put in together. Yeah, so that, that's where France comes into it. Yeah. Yeah. And you're the one that says in your show, you don't talk about politics, sport, or religion. We don't. Well, you're talking about blood and foxes and this. Is that not a sport? No. Not my idea of a sport. Scott, you, you, you're crazy, man. <laughs> crazy, man? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm in good company with you, eh? 
Uh, no, listen, I respect you. I like your show, but thank you, do, man. Hey, thank you, do, man. Hey. Just chill, eh? And you, take care of yourself. See you, buddy. God bless. Hello. Respect to you. Oh, by the way. Yes. My, my father was at Dunkirk, no Falkirk. Falkirk? No. That was the Battle of Falkirk. No, he fought at Dunkirk. Oh, Dunkirk in 1940. Yeah, he did. That was a... That yeah, was 1940, a, I don't think so. That was a shambles, that. Well, that's when everybody else was there. Unless he went on his own. I thought it was 41. Might have been 40. No, it was 1940, Dunkirk, wasn't What's it? Because he sees it. Listen, son, I was, every time I argue with him, he says, look, son, I was at Dunkirk, no Falkirk. It might have been 41. I'll check with the nation. Hey, right. dinky do. Aye, dinky do to you too, Scotty. Dinky do, chum. Right, there you are. Was Dunkirk 40 or 41? Let us know, please, all you old Dunkirkians. And uh, Derek, who's in Oxford. Dinky do, Derek? In Oxford. Are you in Oxford? Oh. Derek, are you in Oxford? That's uh, that's right there, uh, where, Scotty. Whereabouts? Oxford, just outside Oxford, mate. Wh wh which part? Cowley? Eh? Uh, Cowley? It's called a little place like uh, Scornley. Co Filney? Scornley. Scornley? Scornley, mate. And can yeah. you can you hear as clear as a bell? Uh, a little bit of their whispering like that. Oh, mate. fantastic. Hey, oh, brilliant, I mate. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, his phone doesn't back up his reception and his radio. Dave from Warrington, are you there, Dave? Didn't you do? All right, Scotty. All right, matey. You are the man. How are you, sir? You no, know I am. Don't you have another phone last night? How night are you? That. You are the man. You are the man. You, you know what? Man. I just got to work now, so I can come on, mate, and just hear your voice. How are you? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not doing bad, mate. I'm not doing all right, mate. Well, I am managing, like. Yeah, you're managing. You're getting by. I'm, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to. Listen, I'm not falling with sort of sure. I, I, I wanted to speak to you the other night, well, not last night, the other night before that. I, was, uh, I wanted to ask you a bit of a problem, see if yeah. you can help me out with it. Go on. Right. Um, you know, I've done my time and everything, don't you? Come out and because I was drink there and a bad drinking and that. Yes. And uh, And you've sorted all that? Sorted out, come out, had a day off, straight back into work, um, doing 12 hours a day job. Tomorrow I'm on work for 18 hours. Doing everything well I should do. I've come home to me, my girlfriend, and my kids, and everything after eight years and being together. Like anyway, um, my home life now. She's she's moved back into Warrington. We used to live in Tallinn together, and she's living in Warrington now. Now, just before I went inside, I caught with someone else. Yeah, so it was a bit hard, like you know. Anyway, right. when I've gone inside, she's like said she wanted to be and everything. Now, when I've come out, uh. The situation is like I'm, I've come straight out, I've I'm, I'm gone back into work, but the home life seems to be like uh, as if it's like just totally gone down the pot. I can't get my head down there, and I don't know what I don't know where I, where I go from there, you know, type of thing. Well, the thing is, Dave, I mean, what I can tell you is because of what you've been through with going to the big house and all the rest of it, mm. and because of what she's been through, mm. right? Yeah, I mean, people are looking for a good deal in life yeah 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 and that can mean it, it doesn't necessarily mean money it can mean being with a wonderful person mm. it can mean trusting somebody understanding somebody having sex with somebody I being close that, to so. somebody <laughs> you know I'm all these things and and really to be honest with you what's happened is she is as confused as you yeah. because the relationship right yeah. needs complete readjustment and rethinking and if you two want to stay together you're going to have to communicate yeah. all the time about what people like what people the, the dislike situation is my, my job though it's very you very i mean the only job i could get it was a um, i'm on a 210 shift yeah mm. so i finish i'm finishing work at 210 but also with it coming christmas she's had been struggling herself obviously probably i don't know she's got nothing away for the kids for christmas so now like up until today, I mean, I've been doing average like 10 hours a day, but as from now, I'm going to be doing 16 hours a day, you know what I mean, to try and raise the money for Christmas for the kids. Yeah, but don't be raising too much money for Christmas for the kids. Don't be putting your relationship under strain mm. for raising a lot of, um, you know, unrealistic funds mm. for Christmas. Mm. Do you know, I mean, really Christmas is, it's, it's about trying to get a sense of togetherness. It's about trying to get a sense of um, acknowledgement, right, and festivity. 
It is, of course, well, to mark to mark Christ's birth well, and what mind, have you. It will undermine Scott. I mean, I mean, I, I, I mean. Of but I mean, you you don't need to be working and working and working to to give the kids a nice Christmas. Just one nice present each to the kids. Oh, I love the old that Scott. How old, honest to God? You know, and that's that's all. And it, it can be, I don't know, something pleasant, sweets, or, or or just one toy, or. You know, I mean, just a nice atmosphere around the house for the kids. That's just that's a nice meal with the daddy. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. You know, the dad and the mum. Instead well, of... The dad, see, the see dad people, and the mum are normally surrounded by about 20 of her friends all the time, and the dad and the mum don't get for talk very much lately. See, honestly, it's depressing here, Scott. Scott, forget that anyway. Anyway, listen, about this war thing. Yes. I'll, I'll get me head off that. I sound depressed as out. You are the man anyway. You know that, don't you? You the are you are the most favourite person in me. honestly. You are I wish I wish I could have been related to you. But anyway, maybe 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 you are. <laughs> always. This this war thing, right? No, I'm I'm so I'm Joe Public who knows nothing, right, about anything. Right, don't know. Well that can be sorted easily. Right. No, it's it's supposed to be about the um, the when we when we supposed to so called win the German war, yeah, and it all finished and ended. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. Right. Now my, I mean, I don't know much, but me, me old fella, let's say, we, we don't really talk to me, me old fella, like, me old fella used to always watch documentaries on TV. When I'd come home from school and uh, he would have German documentaries on TV, the war, everything, the lot, right? And my only, my only opinion is, if it had gone different, right, if it had not been classed as that we'd actually won the war, which, like you saying, we didn't actually win, obviously, it doesn't look as if we won that much. If it had gone the other way, I think personally things might have been like a hell of a lot better and a lot different. Mm. Now, is that wrong or is that right? Well, I mean, I think, to be honest with you, I think the whole war thing could be avoided. A politician, uh, uh, politicians who go to war are politicians who have failed. Yeah. Because yeah. politics is the art of the possible. Mm. Right? Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you're a politician in your right mind, then the possible is to have peace. Yeah. That's what yeah? you should be aiming for, innit? That, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You see? That's right, yeah. That's right, yeah. No problem. <laughs> you always make things sound so plain, Scott. You're too good. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, um, right then, I'm going to let you get on with some of your other calls, Scott. Hey, it's lovely talking to you. Lovely to talk to you, mate. Yeah, I'll not you... be able to speak to you tomorrow. I'll speak to you from Zanuck. Well, I'll speak to us soon, eh? All right, take, take care, care yourself, of yourself. Hey, dink you do. Dink you do, man. Dink you do, lad. Right. Now, Debbie from Bolton. Are you there, Debbie? Hello, Scotty. Hello. Hiya. Hiya. I'm ringing about one of your calls the other night, that Mandy. Is it Mandy from Wigan? Mandy from Wigan. Oh, I really took to what she was saying. She's a sweetie, wasn't she? Oh, she is. She was on about, you know, people attracted to undesirables, as she called them. She called them undesirables, yes. And she was being polite for that, a word beginning with B, weren't she? Oh, she was meaning there were a bunch of f That's what I thought she meant. I I've been in the same situation myself and still going through it. Go on, tell us more. Well, I met someone, as she calls undesirables. An, under an alcoholic? A, a bit of one, but not committed sort of thing. And what's, I undes what's I undesirable? I was a bit of an alcoholic, yeah. What's undesirable about him? Just the one commitment and just thinks of himself and things. But you see, for I instance... I can't say the word and all women know the word. Don't, don't, like, don't you can't think... Say, can I say the word? No, you can't say the word. But <laughs> Beginning with B-A-S-T. Yeah, but it's not a very nice word. No, but, but it's the th true. The thing is... Right? Mm -hmm. Don't you think that women have got far too high expectations of men? Yeah, well, I met one of these sort of men. Do you not think women actually, uh, you know, get it far too easy with men? No. No, I met one of these sort of men. You see, for instance, why should a man fancy you at all? Well, I met a man like that, and I... As he promised me everything in the world. He said he was self-employed. And well, why, why did you why did you bother listening? Did you why didn't well, you say this is just a little? When you meet someone, they said they're self-employed. Yeah, you believe them. What he actually meant was unemployed. Well, why do you, why do you believe them? Are you soft in the head? Well, I mean, why why I'm believe not them? A suspicious person.
person. If someone says no, 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 but what, wide, what, why, and they why, do bits of jobs here and then everywhere, yes. but that's good enough for me, like. Right, that's good enough for you, but then, you know, what, what, what do you take it to then? And then I found out he was all lies and he was borrowing money off me and... Well, why I'm lend him money? Him. Why lend him money? Say, hang on, mate. If you're self-employed, why do you need money? Oh, he's waiting for his checks to come through. And oh, things. no. He's saying, oh, well, I'll well, have to wait. not the worst of it yet. Well, why didn't you say, well, when the checks come through, give us a shout and I'll come out with you? Mm. Well, I got rid of him. Quite right. And three weeks later, I found out I was pregnant. Pregnant by an undesirable. Yeah, and I kept the baby. It's like it's well, maybe three his, months maybe now. Maybe his checks hadn't come through, love, but something else had. Mhm. Mm I mean, I've no regrets. We've got a beautiful son, but right. Well, is, is, is that changed. would I not, not working? Would I not be right in thinking though that that's what you wanted? Would I not be right in thinking that you were kidding him as much as he was kidding yeah, you? I mean. I've, and I've that, got... that your pregnancy probably wasn't an accident, that you wanted a child. No, I, I think I wanted one in the right circumstances eventually. But you but must have been, you must have been, point. but you must have been dropping your drawers. Yeah, but. And you must have been having unprotected sex. Once. And that's what it's leads. Not once. That... Like unprotected sex once. Once. Well, that's what leads to pregnancy. It doesn't, it doesn't go on the number of times you have it, love. It goes yeah. on the fact you have it at all. Now, did mm. nobody tell you that? If you yeah. do the one-two buckle my shoe with your knickers off, unprotected sex, then what happens is you get up the duff mm -hmm. if you're fertile. I have no regrets. We've got a beautiful son. He's gorgeous now, but... And are you back with him then? Well, it comes round. I thought he'd change, you know, when the baby no, was No, of course he won't gets... change. Why what? should Why should he change? Yeah, well, I think most men, if you've got... He had nothing before. He had nothing. No home. And no he's still... Home, no job. He's, he's still got having nothing. a son, it give you something to motivate you. To well, why, why, sh why, why should it? Why should it? He wasn't well, intending... Real, he wasn't... In changed, he wasn't know. intending to have a son. He just thought he'd find a woman who was loose enough to fulfil his needs. I'm not a loose woman. Well, you must have been... I didn't sleep with him for the first month. You must have been loose once, love. Yeah, but, I, I mean, I made him wait over a month. A month? Yeah. I would have made him wait ten years. I know, but they can you, don't they, like, you know? They can what? Con you. They con you? Well, no, that means when you say he conned you, what you mean is you're gullible. I am. I admit it, I am. Well, why are you gullible? I don't know. Why don't you just turn around and say, listen, chummy, I don't believe a word of you. It's done now, but... I admit, I'm still trying to change him, like... No, I mean, you won't change him, love. Why are you trying to change him? Well, he's got a son now. Well, it doesn't matter, suppose it is. Like he's probably got sons all over the world. He's months old. He's probably got sons no, all over hasn't. the... No, he hasn't. This is his only child. Is that what he's I mean, told he you? How do you? Son. How do you know that? I met all his family and everything. Uh -huh. And how do you know that's his only child? Oh. You don't, do you? Nobody ever knows. I met his... his Dad and I met well, Alice so supposing you've met his Auntie Fanny, love. What? Supposing you've met his Auntie Fanny, it doesn't make any difference about him. That's the way he is. And it still comes to... It comes around every day. But still, but he, he can't get his act together. He's no money and comes around. Yeah, well, I mean, why do you bother with him? Because he's our son's dad. And you love him? Yeah, well, I, I don't know now. I'm confused. I love him sometimes and sometimes... I really hate him. But you actually love him. He gives you a buzz, doesn't he? Yeah. When you see him, you sort of go all googly and woogly. Yeah. All your bits and pieces go hoo hoo hoo. Sometimes, sometimes I can really hate him, though. It alternates but, day to day. But even when you hate him, you still go hoo 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 hoo. Mm. He's quite exciting. There's something there. He excites you, doesn't yeah. he? He excites you, love. Yeah. He is you. He is what you live for. He is your excitement. Not quite as much now. Yeah, but it gives me hope sometimes, and then another day. He also he yeah. also excites you, love. In a very boring world, he is your excitement. Yeah, isn't he? He's he's the high point of your life. It's hard to move on though, because you, you want like your father, your child to be the one, like, don't you? Well, I mean, you what's but you but, again and but he is the start. one, love. He is the one for you. I don't know it. It doesn't work, he drinks a lot. You're well matched, though. Why? 
because you fancied him. Yeah, I did a lot. So there you are. So you're well matched. If God makes them, he matches them. Mm-hmm. So you two are well matched. That's what you're like. He'll have to change. It won't change. What do you mean change? Why should he change? Get a job. But you don't want a man with a job. I do want a man with a job. No, you don't. If you wanted a man with a job, you'd have married a man with a job. I'm, I'm not married to him. Well, you'd have gone out with a man with a job, or you'd have dropped your drawers to a man with a job. It's you don't not necessarily it's about lust. You don't want you, a man you know, with a what, job. I always lust after the ones like... You're, you're a very lusty, you know. You're, you're a very lusty lady. I'm not. Yes, you're I lusty. I am with him, but... <laughs> hey, you're lusty with him because he's your idea. He's your dream boat. I suppose so, but if I could change him... Well, you, why would you want to change your dream boat? I don't want him drinking so much and not working. But you like the I fact mean, he drinks. I've got a degree. I've been to university. I've got a degree. I'm well, it hasn't worked down. You're as daft as a brush. No, because when my child goes to school... So hold on a minute. I Hang on. No, but listen, listen to me. So the yeah. nation... Right, i.e. me. I'm educated, he won't even go and do a course. He said... Just, no, just, oi, oi. Hang on, hang on a minute. He said it's not worth him going to work because he loses his housing benefit and don't want it. Yeah, well, he's and right. Said, well, if you do a course, you can get a higher pay. He doesn't want to do a later. course. Love, he's a layabout. Why would he want to do a course? Because I would. I mean, I've got a degree. But he's a I'm layabout. Gonna, I'm going to do a master's degree when yeah, I have child's at school. Yeah, but listen, I mean, listen. why not? Look, well, look, listen. We've spent all this money on your education, and you still turn round and drop your drawers. I'm, I, I to the first, to, work, to the first man, when he's, he's, to the when first he man, school, the I first man, on. to the first man that comes along, right? Down go the drawers. You weren't yeah? the first man that come along. Many men come along, and I didn't uh, drop my drawers for them. You've you've dropped your drawers for many. No, I said I didn't drop my drawers. You didn't drop your drawers. Ah, oh, right. Well, this is your choice. You've made the choice of this man. So my decision is. You so want move on to somebody else. You act when you come sit with him because he's a father. No, he's no, no, you don't. You stick with him because you like I a heavy I drinking. Yo, you, know, you like a heavy drinking layabout. What? You like heavy drinking layabouts. I don't. Yes, you do. Are there any changes if I somebody new? No, you won't. Because he's your ideal man, and if he changed, you he would panic. If he changed, he'd be my ideal man. No, no, why would you want... What right would you have to change anybody? Because why should anyone stay on the doll? I'm on the doll temporarily. Yeah, but wait a minute, why well, should... I no, I don't understand it. I'm going to a master's degree Never when mind, he was my school. Never on. mind that. What right have you got to change him? He's living his life the well, way he wants to. He's always bother when he's not happy. Eh? Hey? It's, it's no money, he's not happy. Well, he maybe doesn't want to be happy. Well, he wants that. You know, he maybe enjoys being a miserable sod. I just don't understand it, I mean... Well, of course yeah, you understand. No, 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 hang on. Never mind, never, never mind all that. Would you, or would you not, have fallen in love with a hard-working, non-drinking, right, um... Master's degree person. Can you just listen to me? You've heard people argue, right? It's not worth giving up the door money and housing benefit. Well, he's so right. Four pounds an hour. He's right. It's not worth it. Then why not go to college, get qualified? Because he doesn't want to go to college. Job. He doesn't want to. He's a I Leo. I understand people not wanting to better themselves. Well, life. darling, how can you not understand the man you're in love with? Why I'm did you? I hate him now. Well, well, what, well why did you drop your drawers to somebody you hate? Pardon? Why did you drop your drawers to somebody you hate? I just thought it was. He told me it was sort of temporary thing. Like he's been out. Of oh come of on, love, grow up. You've got a master's degree. No, I'm going for one. I've well, got, you're I've got going a bachelor's for, science. Well, but. you're going for. You've got a bachelor's degree. Why? Why are you going to grow up? Oh, well, you women. some people that are genuine. I mean, most people I've met in my life aren't liars. I've not met many liars in but, my but life. But you don't most want to go. Out. Genuine. Yeah, but you like liars. I don't like because liars because they've got a sense of excitement. I didn't realise he was a liar. Of course, you seven. did. You didn't I care. Did he said he was self-employed. Well, anybody in the right mind would have checked that up. And you wouldn't have lent him money. And if he was doing so well, why would he want to borrow money? 
I'm, I know he was conning his way, but... I mean, it's the most obvious thing in the world. It was three months, and then I found out I was pregnant after, like, three months. He's the same as this uh, husband of Sharon's in Coronation Street. It is. <laughs> you see? Yeah. But she loves him, doesn't she? She's yeah. daft as a brush. <laughs> She's going to give away the shop, I bet you. Uh-huh. <laughs> You see? We were on about that the so, other day. So what why have to say about that? So why would you want to change your ideal man? Oh You, you love him, you love a heavy drinking lay about who who lies to I you. Have the idea of him changing. No, you don't. If you liked the idea of him changing, you'd have gone out with somebody who was different. You love him the way he is. I don't I want to change him. No, you don't. And why should you? Oh, not, I mean, no woman. If you think she, about she, she it, really, if you think really, about it, no woman has got any right to change a man. That man said the other night. That well, why don't said, you change? I didn't realize Listen, she was talking about undesirable men. I sat there and thought, yeah, but why don't God, you I'm change? Excuse me, instead of being Miss Goody Two Shoes, why don't you change? Why don't you become a heavy drinking layabout? I don't want to. Well, he doesn't I mean, want to. He doesn't want to become. It, he doesn't I, want to become Mr. Goody Two Shoes. Son, I go to school in three years. I can do a master's degree in psychology, and I'm going to go for it and get a good career. Right. I can't uh, understand anyone. And who's going to bring your kid up? It's not worth giving up with all an hour in benefit for, because it's no point working for four pounds an hour. But that's why you fell in love with them. Get qualified in something. And he doesn't say, want to be qualified. You're unemployed to the cop. And then moan all the time. It's no money. He loves moaning. I never want to He's a, he's a moaner. I mean, he's not a child. He's like nearly 30. You chose a moaner. Hmm. You know, and you like him. Only if I can change him. You, no, you've no right to change yeah, him. Yeah, but he's, he's a, a child's daddy. He has a right to change No, him. he's not. Yeah, has. You've no he's... right to change him well, at so all. Well, daddy's it. I can't well, that's him. Well, well, you should have thought about... Well, you should have thought about that before you dropped your drawers. It's easier said than done. No, it's not. It's quite easily done. I'm not the ideal world. You check out and you say, I'm, I'm, really you say, I'm looking for a man who's got a job, who is honest, who, uh, you know, isn't a heavy drinker, who will make a good father for my child, and then I will sit down and I will discuss it with them, and then I may drop my knickers, and if I really like that, I might decide to not contraceive. <laughs> It's easy and said to It's not easier said than done. It's the oldest trick in the book. You, you'll have to go, love. Oh, no. Oh, yes. A oh, no, but I ended so up missing somebody who wasn't a student. Oh, no. T time's up, love. Okay. Hey, dinky do. Yeah, Dink dinky do. I'll see you now. Bye. Bye bye, lovey. And say thanks to Mandy from Wigan because oh. she gave us something to think about. Oh, of course she did. She gave good advice there. Good and advice. About it. That's what you need a bit of good advice. Yeah, she's good person and i think you uh, fancy her on the quiet yeah dink you do you and her get on really well and yeah, we do now dink I you think, do i think you and her should, should get a double act together on radio oh my god hey dink you do love judy and richard are tomorrow right i'll see you love eh? see ya see you darling Bye. Ta -da, love god i thought she was never gonna go scotty mcclue's late night phone in have you phoned yet dink you do Woo.